Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm very excited to be reviewing another Ku model knight for you. This is the Feudal Knight that just came out in 2020. And I'm really impressed by this one. He's very realistic, the quality is fantastic. So let's jump right in and take a look at the box. So here's the outer cardboard box. You can see a sketch of the, the knight. And this is a very massive box, so I can't fit it all on the camera here, but not too much else to show here. So let me take this off. And here's the inner box with a lot more to show here. There is another picture of the figure you can see his face exposed there. A very intense head sculpt for this one. On the side, another picture. And another one on this side. All right, so awesome looking box. I love these boxes so much and it's just uh, really massive. But let me take this off. Right here, <clears throat> here are the instructions for the figure. All right, and inside, I put everything back in here, just so you can get a glimpse of what um, he would look like when you first get him. So I'll just briefly go over um, some of the, the things that you get with this figure. Um, but for starters, let me actually take out the figure for you. All right, so here he is. Very realistic. Um, take a look at that head sculpt. My goodness, this guy is incredibly intense. Looks like he's right in the middle of warfare. Um, but super realistic, look at those teeth. Just ultra realistic, very impressive. And the hair is also really realistic. Um, but yeah, it looks great and he feels super solid. I love how sturdy, um, especially the newer crew models, they just have this really good quality feel to them. I love that breastplate as well, that looks very nice. All right, well, anyway, I'll show him more in detail later on with all of his stuff equipped, but um, very nice shield. And as far as weapons, he comes with a good amount of weapons here. He comes with this axe, and this is really nice. It's got a nice heavy feel to it. Really love the sword. Uh, that sheath is beautiful, the white with the gold, um, just looks very ornate. And there's the blade, very nice. Okay, and then he also comes with um, this, which I'm not entirely sure the name of this at the moment. I'll have to look that up later. Um, this is also nice. Okay, and then he also comes with this spear with flag here. That is the English flag. So this is an English knight. All right, and then uh, here's a look at the helmet that you get. Really beautiful. I love the helmet that comes with this figure. All right, well, enough of showing everything inside. Let me put him together for you. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, well, here is one look you can go with with this particular figure. And um, this looks awesome, I have to say. So 
Right now I have him equipped with this pole arm and I did some research. Uh, let me see if I can say this right. This is called a Bardiche. Um, a very interesting weapon. It looks very brutal. Um, but he poses really nicely with this. I especially love the gloved hands that he comes with. And also the lack of um, the lack of arm armor uh, gives this figure a lot of good flexibility, which I do appreciate. So as you can see, he just has chainmail. Um, that is just plastic. Um, but this chainmail is real metal, and this is very nicely detailed. If I take off his helmet, uh, you can see that this fits very nicely onto his head. And yeah, the quality of that is really fantastic. Um, but yeah, this is a salad helmet. Really beautiful, and that fits very snugly onto his head. You can see his teeth are exposed. And if I lift that, um, there you can see his eyes. But yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, I got his sword equipped on the side in its sheath. Looks nice. All right, so that's one look you can go with. Um, give me a second and I'll show you another look. All right, well, I've got the figure here equipped with his spear with the flag. And I've also put on his tunic as well as the shield, which is strapped onto his back. And this looks amazing as well. Honestly, it's hard to choose which look to go with for this figure. You can just uh, really get a lot of variety here. All right, so that looks amazing. The tunic is very nice. And I really love the, um, I think this is a Gambinson underneath. Good quality. Uh, there's more chain mail. And then I've got his leg armor, which this is interesting. He's got boots, but then the upper half is armor. I really like that look. All right, well, let me take the spear out. And here is his ax. All right, and he holds that very well in his hands. All right, well, I've got the figure equipped with his shield, and it's a little challenging to get the shield on. These leather straps are definitely pretty delicate, so you want to be careful with those. Um, well, this looks really nice. He holds it very well. And I've got him equipped with his sword. That looks very nice. All right, so you can get some really nice poses. And if I just take out the sword really briefly, I can Put the axe back in. So there is the axe with the shield. That also looks great. I personally prefer the sword, but uh, the axe is also a great accessory here. All right, so that looks awesome. And uh, before I forget, let me just briefly i uh, show you the belts that this figure comes with. Uh, these are very nice. They're leather instead of the plastic ones that were on previous models. So um, the quality of these are definitely a lot better. And he's got this pouch over here. All right, and then of course with the, each Ku model, they do give you extra hands. Um, which are inside of the box. So I just thought I'd mention that really briefly. All right, so I think that is everything to show for this 
Koo model figure. As you can see, he's really awesome. Um, very impressed with this one. I feel like he's a good balance of, um, you know, like some of the other previous ones that I've gotten are really just decked out in armor and they're very heavy. And when you hold them, a lot of stuff falls off, which is fine, but uh, they're definitely a lot more challenging to hold. But this one's like the perfect balance. He's got a lot of armor, but not too much. Um, so he's very easy to just hold and he feels solid. Nothing's going to fall off. Um, yeah, overall, this is a, a very nice figure and I definitely recommend picking this one up. Um, I did buy him off eBay and I paid, um, I was around 250 or something. So of course the price is going to be pretty expensive for these figures as expected, but it's definitely worth it. I think, um, these guys are just, uh, really really good all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this review um i will show a, a short little segment at the end of him on his display stand so stick around for that and i'll see you next time